What's up guys, Jordan Hardy here, boxing reporter. You don't have to just be a professional fighter to use Victor Conte's fighter training sack. I use it every day when I'm working out in the gym. Stay fit. I'm Jordan Hardy and I'm Snack Strong. I Corte. I Corte. I Corte. I Corte from Ghana. Um, I seriously thought he had bricks in his hands. <laughs> it felt like nothing before. And he was a. I remember this fight. Um, you know, I remember Bob Arum telling me about a, a kid by the name of I Corte. And I. And as you know, Mauricio, I fought everybody. I fought anybody and everybody. And. You know, Bob Arum explained to me, you know, you want to fight this kid, I Corte. I was like, oh, sure, of course, I'll fight him. It was one of the most difficult, um, toughest fights I've ever been in, but it was fun. I really enjoyed it because that last round was like a Rocky movie, and I will always be part of it. It's the in the history books. People will remember it, and uh, it was it was uh, one of those moments that I that I cherish for the rest of my life. Wow, the better I Corte, I Corte had an amazing, amazing jab. I mean, I was known for a great jab, um, but you know, the opponent with the best jab had to be I Corte. He had, I mean, he had a he had a an arrow as a jab. I mean, he would throw it with power, with force. He can literally drop you with a jab, and so I mean, I Corte, I will always respect him and admire him because he had he had the heart of a lion. Well, do you remember the? Do you remember the uh, the? I don't know what they call him, the witch doctor, the guru, yeah. whatever. Uh, uh, that came you know, into the uh, ring. It was it was intense. It was intense. It was it was dramatic. It was. Uh, I mean, you can make a movie out of it. Um, you know, every single second of every single minute. The drums would not stop playing, and you know, luckily, I was able to, 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 to focus on on I Corte, and I would, I would not be distracted by those drums. But everybody who was there in the arena can hear those drums. I mean, they were loud. They were, you know, distracting. Um, it was, it was a special moment. It was one of those fights where, where if you were there, you never forget. Wow, I, I have to say uh, Julio Teaser Chavez um, had one of the best chins in boxing. Um, he was known for that. He was known for his granite chin. He, uh, you know, not only was he, or to me, best fighters to come to go, um, but or from anywhere all over the world. Uh, but his chin was uh, was was by far, uh, if not the best, one of the best. I would I would have to say uh, Pernell Whitaker. Pernell Whitaker had amazing abilities, uh, fast hands, fast twitch. Uh, everything he did was fast, and I don't think people really appreciate his power as well. He was a strong fighter. Um, he was a fighter who had many knockouts. He was a fighter who was uh, who was in in your face in front of you. But he had just he had great footwork. He had great movements. Uh, um, but his speed was 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 second to none. Yo, you, yes, you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.